Good morning, it's Karen from Simply Living For Him. I'm here to do my daily encouragement video from God's Word. I hope that you find these videos to be a blessing. If you enjoy these devotions, I wanted to remind you that I have a devotional available on Amazon in paperback. And lately people have been writing to me telling me that it has been so helpful for their walk with the Lord. So you can check that out. The link here is in the description for this video. So I wanted to tell you today that I don't know where I'm going, but God does. And I wanted to encourage you in that as well. In our Simply Living for Him online women's community, we are studying Hebrews 11 this month. And that passage goes all through these heroes of faith that have come before us and have walked out their faith, not knowing a lot of them where they were going. And so I wanted to remind you that we don't know where we are going, but God does. And we can do hard things or unknown things or go where he leads us simply because he leads us, right? And we are never um, going in the wrong direction if we are following God. So there's two specific people that are mentioned in Hebrews 11 that I had been thinking about just yesterday and this morning, and that's Noah and Abraham. And it says here in Hebrews 11, about Noah, it says uh, in verse seven, by his faith, uh, no, it was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. He obeyed God who warned him about things that had never happened before. Some of the translations say by things he had not seen. Uh, reminder, it had never rained before. So God is telling Noah to build this big boat for this flood that's going to be catastrophic, yet it had never rained. And Noah went ahead and did it. He never questioned God. Well, I don't know. Maybe he did lay there at night thinking like, God, you know, is this crazy? I mean, that I know has happened to me. Uh, there are times in my life where I'm like, God, I know you're calling me to do this thing, but I don't know how it's going to end up. And I'm like, you know, do I, you know, stop following you because I'm afraid? Or do I just have that faith to do it no matter what will happen? And, you know, just at this time in my life, there are a lot of things coming up that I'm like, Lord, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I know 100% that you are leading and that's all I need to know. And so faith is not about things that, you know, we have this great proof. God isn't saying, you know, I... um I'm giving you this great outline. Sometimes he says, all you need to know is that you know me. All you need to know is that I'm faithful. All you need to know is that I'm calling you to do this and then you do it. And so, for example, another uh, example, Abraham, he says here, it was by faith that Abraham, when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him his inheritance, he went without knowing where he was going. That line really stood out to me. How many of us would we go somewhere without knowing we were going? You know, if God said do something, but you didn't know the outcome, would you do it? See, we don't have to know the outcome because we know who's calling us and that's God. And so we have to remember that faith is faith. It is not walking, you know, into something, having a perfect outline and knowing everything. Otherwise, we wouldn't need faith because, you know, we would be relying on ourselves. And so I think God wants us to trust him and not know the outcome, but know the one who is leading. And so like Noah, where it never rained, and yet he did something, you know, I can imagine at that time, the culture must have thought he was crazy. The people all around him must have thought he was crazy. And like I said, maybe sometimes he thought he was crazy, but his faith told him that he had to do what God called him to do and it would be okay. And then if we know the story of Noah, I mean, it's this huge picture for Jesus, really, that, you know, those who um, stayed on that boat and got behind that closed door were saved. And so I would encourage you to read that whole story and remind yourself and be encouraged by the faith of Noah. He didn't know the outcome. He just knew that God was calling him to do that. Same thing with Abraham. Go back and read Genesis, the story of Abraham. He left his homeland and he did not know where he was going, but he knew 
who was calling him. See, that's the difference. We can either put our security in our circumstances, our security in the things we see, our security in the things that are familiar or the things that we know or the things that are like concrete and written down, or we can put our faith in the God who holds the stars in the sky, who created us, who knows the outcome, who knows the plan, right? So we don't have to know we, where we are going. We just have to know who we are going with. And if you're walking with God, you can walk out in faith, knowing that wherever he leads, it's exactly where you should be. So I don't know if you're facing a time today where you're feeling like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know the outcome. But if you know that that's where God is leading, just follow him. You can't go wrong if you're following him. So I hope that this encouraged you today. If it did, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know comment uh, wherever you're seeing this, share this video with a friend. And until the next time, I wish you all the blessings and joy in Jesus today.